just do trim and do this when you start it. Let me show you how to fix it. Right, so today we'll be working on a KM90R, a combi unit. Okay, jump right into it. So, don't really need to, but for recording takes, I'll take the air filter, the cover off. So it makes it a bit easier to see. Right. On the back here, I'll zoom in a bit. One, two, and three. That one there's your idle. So you can't really see a pretty bad light. This one here is your idle. So if your trim is running a bit, uh, how would you say? It's sort of, when you start it, it instantly just shuts off. Try just turning the idle up a tiny little bit. So, uh, I'll get me. All right, so, Towards the mower for up, towards myself for down. All right, guys, I had to move this around a bit better light here. Uh, so I'll show you as an example on uh, how to fix, or how to sort of determine whether your trim has just got a low idle. So it's warm now, so I'll just start it off the start position. I won't choke it or anything. All right. Might need to give it a bit of throttle. But you know how straight away it just dies? So that's when you get your trusty old tool. Back to where it's bad light again. So you can see me see it. This bottom one here is the one we'll be adjusting. So get your steel tool. You don't need stills all, but this just gives you the the sort of markers to tell you if you're half turn, quarter turn, full turn. So start with this straight up. I'll just turn, say, a half a turn. Oh, I'll start with a quarter. So I'll go a quarter a turn towards the whipper snipper, so towards the full starter. So we'll see how that is now. That's a tiny little bit better. So we'll go from the quarter turn again. We'll go another quarter turn straight down. I'll see what it is now. And then from that quarter turn, we'll do another quarter of a turn up. And sort of just keep working at intervals. Uh, generally, for most steel products, if you're struggling and you want to start from scratch again on carby settings, wind them all out, so wind them all towards me um, until they, don't do it until they're tight, but just do it until you start feeling friction. And then turn it one full turn and a half a turn back for all the, the top two settings. Generally leave that that's the easiest one to set. So anyway, we've just turned that another quarter turn. So in theory, that's three quarter turns we've turned. So we'll see what it's like now. So it'll basically run by itself now. So I'll turn it up a quarter turn, which makes it one full turn. We'll see. Another quarter turn. So that's that. Um, there are sort of, there are different ways to, to work out your carby and all that and tune it. This is just the way that's always worked for me, especially if it's ran prior and you've just gone to start it and it doesn't start. Generally, 
either the idols worked its way loose or the saws sort of just bed it in more and the adjustments changed in the carbs it does happen um, the number one fact though is if you run bigger heads or in fact a bigger line like this one over here 3.3 mil like that's like it's pretty thick um, yeah you, you start running a couple of feet of line in that the head and it does put a lot of load on the actual the head itself uh, so if you run a heap of line on the spool it does put a lot of load on its head so keep that in mind as well you'll start wearing out the um the lobe in the actual crank inside the motor because that's only a plastic lobe and if you cut if you continuously put load on that you'll put a flat spot on it and um yeah a lot of these it's just that's the one thing that goes wrong because it's a plastic part it's a consumable so it's only a cheap part to fix but you've got to literally turn it on the whole saw in order to fix that one part so i sorry fix pull down the whole whip a snipper in order to fix the one part sorry if i do say saw a lot it's just i'm generally used to dealing with chainsaws so it's a it's a bit of a habit at this point but yeah this one's not too bad condition it's one of the earlier ones it's actually got a, a cast cast snub on it but yeah and uh, sorry got sidetracked if you put load on there you're gonna have to start changing your high and your low jets on your carby so if you would like a video on that I'll, I'll eventually make one but if you would like a video on that tell me and i'll push it to get uploaded sooner than later but yeah that's it cheers guys have a good one cheers for watching again uh, like subscribe the whole nine yards sorry if this video is a bit short and to the point i've been sick for the last week so yeah it's sort of Bit of a struggle to come out the shed at the minute. So, yeah. Anyway, thank you. Have a good one, guys.